what I'd now like to be able to do with my horse is actually go somewhere with him. Okay, so I'm going to ask Rocky to come with me. I'm going to give him a direction on the halter. I'm going to rest the stick on his back and tap if I need him to hurry up and keep up. And see if you can walk with me as a partner. So I'm not going to be dragging him along in front. I'm not going to have him pushing on me or running off in front of me. If Rocky were to speed up and run past me, I could do something like this. I could tap on my rope, which would slow him down. If he's too slow, I can tap behind his shoulder and say, hurry up. And I might do something like, can I push his hindquarters away? Can I back him up? Can I change hands and do it on the other side? So we get to play this little game in both eyes. Okay, so Rocky gets good at coming with me on both sides of his body. Anything we do on one side of the horse's body, we need to also do on the other. You tend to find most horses will push you a little bit on their offside because they're feeling a bit defensive on that side because generally we, we don't do enough with our horses on the offside and they're less comfortable. So they tend to try and push on us because they're a bit defensive with us in that space. So we need to put a lot of effort into playing with our horse on both sides of his body. Driving him around. Pushing the hindquarters away. Backing him up. Changing hands. Coming the other way. And again, if he speeds up, I could tap the rope and say, slow down. If he's too slow, I can tap behind the shoulder and say, speed up. If he starts to push on me, I can push his nose away and say, go over there and don't push on me. And then I can move his hindquarters and say, look at me, back up. And let's go the other way again. This is a really great exercise. What I then might do is go somewhere and ask the horse maybe to go between me and an object. Catch up Rocky. So for example, between me and this fence, can I ask Rocky to go through the gap, through a little ditch we have here, and then can I push his hindquarters away can I back him up a little bit? Got a pole behind him there, but that's his problem. He'll work it out. That was pretty clever. One foot on each side. Then can he come through the gap the other way? And up the little ditch. Then can I push his hindquarters away? Horses by nature are claustrophobic. Um, which means they just aren't comfortable in small spaces. In a herd environment or in the wild, if a horse were to get trapped in a small space, it means that his ability to flee from danger is diminished or restricted. So they don't really feel comfortable in tight spaces. So by getting a horse better at going between a small gap, for example, me sending Rocky between myself and this fence, it's getting him used to going through a tight space, feeling comfortable with it. He's going to be better at things like trailer loading, going through small gates, um, if, he was a, if he was a race horse, which thankfully he's not, <laughs> I think he'd lose every race, he'd be able to go into racing barriers, um, you know, he'd feel more comfortable in stables. So I need to make sure that I put a lot of effort into helping my horse get better at going through tight spaces and being more comfortable with tight spaces. So a lot of what we've shown you um, on this video with a horse like Rocky, it looks quite easy. When you go out and try these techniques on your horse, don't expect a great response initially. They are going to oppose you. If they've been able to move your feet around quite a lot in the past and you haven't been able to move theirs, when suddenly you turn the tables, they're not going to be too impressed. So stick with it and try and get good at recognising a try and rewarding your horse at the right time. Horses are quick learners if we know how to recognise a try and how to offer them comfort. The better we get at offering our horse comfort, the better we're able to teach him. 
and there are no limits to what you can teach your horse once you understand that concept. Once um, I can move my horse around on line with a steady and rhythmic pressure and I've done some fairly low energy close range circling game, I can start to move it out a bit and get my horse going. So I'm going to send him out on the circle, see if I can bring his energy up, just put some rhythm behind him. I can start to move my feet. I can walk with him, go places. I can send him up and down over things. Whoop, bit of a trip. Back down over the ditch. I could move his hindquarters. Could back him up a bit. Out in the other direction. And eventually I'd like to experiment with different lengths of line. The longer the rope, the more I'm about to move my horse out. For quite a, a big horse, this rope isn't really long enough to put a lot of speed into his circles. But if I can teach him these things close range, I'm going to have a much better chance of success when I increase the distance and I increase the speed. Playing with a horse like this on line is very valuable. It doesn't take a lot of extra time um, out of your training program that it might take away from you riding or doing other things. If you actually think about how much time you actually spend with your horse in a halter and lead, it would probably be more than 20% of the time that you actually spend with your horse. So whether you're just out there catching your horse and taking him somewhere to be saddled, you can play these games with him on your way to saddling your horse, on your way to loading him on the trailer, um, you know, any time. Or you can just come out and play with him like this if you don't have time to ride and you're only, you've only got 15 minutes to spend with your horse. It's really, really valuable time. The better my horse can circle on the line, the better he'll circle in the saddle. The better I can get him at going through gaps, the better he'll load onto my horse trailer. The better I can get him jumping ditches, going over logs, the better he's going to jump for me on a cross country course. So if I can build this great language of communication, everything I do with him will be better, online or in the saddle.